Hey everyone, it's been a couple days since my last video. I hope you guys are ready to go. We have a used unboxing video and what, just to recap what I mean by that, I purchased this pre-owned Beyblade set and it's one of the very last um, remaining dual layer sets for like the proto layers, um, kind of like proto. It's like the season right out, it's like the series right after Proto with like Valtriac V2 and so on and so forth. But um, there is technically a Proto Bay in this set. I didn't realize it was technically a Proto Bay because it's the only single release of its series other than um, the Bay that's with it. So it is technically a Proto Bay because it's the only time we see this Bay. All right, I'm super stoked to do this, you guys. I'm really stoked because I do not have one of these bays in here and the other is just a continuation of a collection. So with that being said, let's unbox these Beyblades. All right, we have Orpheus O2 and Unicrest U2. All right, so throw the packaging off to the side. And like I said, we have three already out of the five Unicrests. I ordered the last Unicrest for this, for the Unicrest set. That'll be here this weekend. So keep your eyes out the uh, this weekend for a Unicrest completion video. I'll be super excited to do that. And without further ado, let's open these bays up. This Unicrest is an attack type Unicrest because we have the we have the Unicrest Lair. And for this being a used lair, you guys, this is in pristine condition. There's no, the, there's no wear anywhere on this bay. I think they just opened it up, didn't like it, and just decided to throw it on Facebook, uh, eBay and sell it. Here's the QR code, just a beautiful bay. All right, and then we have the U-Disc. And it is a four star, you guys, a four star U-Disc, very nice. And we have a nice blue Jaggy to go with it. All right, we'll throw those two over there. Next up is our boy Orpheus. So this is what the one I was talking about. So this is the only time we see Orpheus in Hasbro Burst is this set, you guys. So this could be considered a proto lair just because it's its only release. And I didn't know that. I thought it was like Hyrus and a few of the others where, you know, it had, just to show you what I'm talking about, because I have the set right here. You know, I thought it was going to be like um, Guyanan, Istros. Um, I always forget what his name is. Oh, no, this one's Istros. This one's Tyros. And then like Hyrus, Hyrus, where there's like at least two. Guyanan, there's a few. And then Surtur, there's two. So I just, I was stunned to find out that Orpheus, Orpheus is its only, Orpheus O2, you guys, is its only Beyblade. So this could be considered technically a proto lair just because of the fact that it's its only Beyblade. Now, the only reason why it's not considered a proto lair is because the proto layers, if you don't remember, they don't have a huge amount of detail. It's very um straight and to the point whereas our boy right here orpheus has a little bit of detail on him so it's very much like it's very much whatever you call it i've heard some people call it a proto lair and i've heard other people not call it a proto lair just because of the fact that it's got some detail to it all right so enough with me yammering oh yeah and we have the i think this is vertical oh no this is a so I don't remember what the A-Disc is, you guys, so bear with me on that. We'll just call it the A-Disc. And this, you guys, is a four-star as well. We got a, I think this is our third four-star for the A-Disc. And then we have the Shield Driver. It's a nice little recoloring of the blue. So very nice. I, I gotta say, you guys, I'm super stoked about the fact, here's the QR code for Orpheus, you guys. I'm super stoked about the fact that the condition of these bays, I didn't expect them to be this well preserved. Let's throw the back of the box. There you go. There's the stats. There you go. 
very nice very nice indeed so we're gonna throw these guys up here real quick because now we got to go into our test spins all right three two one let it rip all right and that is attack type unicrest u2 all righty orpheus three two one ha <laughs> missed launch all right three two one i tried to rip it a little bit harder with orpheus just because of the fact that i think he's a stamina he's a defense type i thought he was a stamina type i was about to say stamina so yeah he's a defense type all right so that that's orpheus all right, let's get our first battle underway. Our boy Unicrest versus Orpheus. Three, two, one. Let it rip. Well, Unicrest hit this sidewall right here and then just immediately shot out of the stadium. So I think we, that's a display of power right there for showing how powerful unicrest is three two one all right i'm gonna have to tweak this launcher real quick all right get a more there we go first battle underway who will take the win And it, our first win goes to Orpheus. All right, three, two, one. Let it rip. Let it rip. Ooh, Unicrest decides to not hit that rail rush and go straight for Orpheus after the first one. Very nice tactic. Let's see if it'll work for Orpheus, uh, Unicrest. And that's the other reason I forgot to say um, why a lot of people call Orpheus a proto lair is because it uses proto parts. It's not just the, uh, the lair itself, but it's also the parts too. Because with this being, I think, yeah, with this being Orpheus 02, they're not being a prior release. And the fact that it uses shield, the A disc. I think that's also why a lot of people consider it a proto bay. All right, so Unicrest did lose twice. So I'm going to do the Unicrest battle now. All right. <coughs> I do apologize if I cough a little bit on this video. All right. Unicrest U1, three, two, one. Let it rip. escapes going the opposite direction very nice and unicrest u1 first loss so u2 wins three two one all right let's try that again three two one I think that's the only thing I hate about this stadium, you guys, is the, the ridges are not nicely done. Okay. What's gonna happen this round? I have a feeling Unicrest U2 is gonna uh U1 is gonna win. Yep. Just because of the fact that um there was a slight delay there. Three, two, one. There we go. That's what we like to see. Ah. 
And I am ordering a new stadium, you guys. So we're going to use that stadium from now on. All right. U2 takes another victory, so U2 does win. I mean, U1. Green Unicrest. Proto Unicrest. But yeah, I'm, I ordered a new stadium. Um, it's a third-party stadium, and it's a reprinted design of the Metal Fight-style stadium, along with some unopened plastic gen stuff. So I would say by the end of this month, um, definitely keep your eye out for some plastic generation videos. We're going to assemble them open them, assemble them, and uh, yeah, it'll be a lot of fun to do. All right, next battle. Very nice. Decent speed right off the start. But yeah, I know a lot of you guys might be calling me crazy for these plastic for doing these three plastic gins. Um, I want to let you right now know right now, the type of plastic generation that we're unboxing are very common ones to find. So we're doing it'll be Dronzer Knight, Roller Defense, and Wing Defense. They are very common to find, and their their price points for finding them brand new are very inexpensive. Um, I do plan on buying a brand new unopened jumping base here within the next two months so definitely keep your eyes out for that video as well <coughs> and we're also going to be trying to wrap up the beyblade burst hasbro series as well all right round two three two one oh i thought unicrest u2 was going to go out of the stadium you guys very nice Pushing U1 out of the center. Will this be a U2 victory? No, oh, U1 takes a victory. So now we have Unicrest U2 with Needle and I believe this is the Delta Disc. Three, two, one. Wow. All right. Not what I was expecting. All right. Three, two, one. Okay, I need this to stay in the stadium. Hmm. Yeah, and we're honestly all just about done. Three, two, one. Because really, I've got a few more dual layer discs, uh, Beyblades to pick up. Because like I said, I picked up Phantasms. So I have picked up Phantasms. I've picked up um, Odax O2, the blue one. Ooh, Unicrest U2 with a... Uh, the red Unicrest with a solid burst finish. Very nice. So yeah, I just recently picked up Phantasms, Odax O2, the blue one, and um, our last Unicrest. I think I picked up one more. There's four of them. So after this, all I'll need to pick up is the um, Kerbeus Avatar Attack Stadium set that comes with Kerbeus and Valtriac, uh, and then Fornius Ripfire. So I was wrong. I thought I completed uh, Slingshock, you guys, but I have not bought Fornius Ripfire yet. So Fornius Ripfire, the Avatar Attack set, um, Regulus R3, the red attack variant, um, another Treptune, the green one, the green and yellow and then we have the green and black synax and then we're honestly done with the dual air system and then we just got to focus i got to focus on hypersphere and then quad strike and we are done well and a little bit of pro series so pro series too because uh, i got to get caught up on pro series all right so let's do a four let's do a full-on unicrest battle i'm gonna get some launchers set up All right, three, two, one. Three, two, one. Uh, of course, there's always that one, you guys, that wants to slow everything down. It got stuck on the launcher, so we have to redo it. All right, three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. There we go. The four-way Unicrest battle. 
Who is out first? Orange. Blue is our winner. Blue Unicrest is our winner out of the Unicrest battle. So now I want to do something fun here real quick. We have Orpheus, which is kind of, if you kind of take a look, looks similar to our boy Synax C2. So let's uh battle him. Let me fix my launcher real quick. Oh yeah, and uh, just a just a um, quick reminder for you guys. So with these uh, dual launchers, these dual LR launchers from the Evolution series, <coughs> what you want to do if your launcher string gets un uh, gets locked is you want to uh, so say you're in right where I was and it gets locked out. What you want to do is you want to pull it to left. And sometimes you can just barely pull on it and it'll reel back in. But if it doesn't, um, you pull this tab out and then you move the um, the base of the launcher and it'll reel back in. All right, so now we're gonna do the Orpheus and Cyanax battle. I feel like this is gonna be a pretty fun one. They're both kind of the same shape and design. All right, Cyanax will go first, three, two, one. Let it rip. Wow, that was weird. The backlash on that launch. Three, two, one. All right, they both are the same design, you guys. Roughly the same design. So let's see who actually takes a victory in this battle. Okay, so our first battle goes to our boy, Orpheus. Now we will launch Orpheus next. Three, two, one. Okay, both bays got a decent launch. Let's see what happens. Will Synax come out ahead on this battle? Both bays are wavering. Synax with a little bit of life after death. We are tied. Let's go again. Oh, nice. It'd be nice to see a burst. We've seen one burst this video so far. Three, two, one. All right, we got two really good launches going on right now. Cyanax is chasing Orpheus. Now Orpheus is countering back. Ooh, very nice hits by Orpheus. And Orpheus is victorious between the two. Very nice. Look how much Orpheus barely moved, you guys. And then Cyanax is like halfway. That's crazy. Very crazy. So yeah, um... Let's just do one last battle. We'll do the blue defense with Needle Delta and the blue Unicrest Lair versus Orpheus, which is defense. Who is the better defense Beyblade? Three, two, one. Honestly, my bet is on um, Unicrest. It has the heavier parts. So we'll find out who is the better defense Beyblade. Oh, wow. Okay. I was dead wrong on that first battle. Orpheus definitely took a victory there. Three, two, one. So much scraping. Three, two, one. Both bays are throwing out good hits.
Unicrest is wavering while Orpheus is just standing there. Orpheus with a second win. All right, one last round just to see if we get a burst. All right, three, two, one. Actually, let's launch Orpheus first. Three, two, one. Wow. So yeah, this is what I was talking about, you guys. Boom, launcher lock fixed. But because it was a great stall on the start, we got to relaunch. Three, two, one. All right, two good launches out the gate. No delay. Let's go. And Orpheus with three straight wins. Very nicely done on Orpheus's part. So yeah, with that being said, this is going to conclude this video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it, all 21 minutes of it. And with that being said, like I said before, I ordered some plastic gin stuff, a new stadium um, for 3D Remake too. So it's going to be our first 3D reprinted design of a stadium. I do not have an original uh, Metal Fight Stadium. I want to pick those up, one of those up, but they are just so, so expensive, you guys. So this will be our first look at a 3D printed Beyblade on my channel. So definitely this Saturday, keep your eyes posted for that video. Uh, some plastic gin stuff at the end of this month. They're going to be brand new. We're going to open them. That'll be their own separate videos. We do have two plastic gin bays on this channel. We have Dronzer Volcanic and metal drasil so those will be our two, two beyblades to verse off against these other plastic gins just to see how good they were um and like i said we have unicrest u2 the um white and red variant and the odax o2 the blue variant as long as as well as with phantasis oh and cognite i ordered the silver cognite c3 as well that one's going to be used as well so Definitely, you guys. I got some content rolling out at the before this end of and before the end of June hits. They are gonna be bangers. I hope you guys enjoy. And as always, please like, comment, subscribe, and I thank you for everything. With that being said, three, two, one, let it rip. Have a great night, everyone.